Hello everyone, Rain here with Audio Plugin Deals, looking at another exciting offer this holiday season, and today it's Augmented Strings from Arturia. It's a powerful orchestra and synthesizer all wrapped into one, so let's get right into it. But first, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and also turn on notifications so that you will never miss out when we drop another one of our great deals. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we have the main interface of Augmented Strings. As I said, it is an orchestral sound library, you know, string library, and also a synthesizer built into one. So if we take a look for a moment at the advanced settings, just to illustrate that, you see layer A, layer B, and that layer A has a sampler with orchestral sounds, and layer B has a synthesized element. And so with these two layers, you get the string sounds of this rich, lush orchestra being added to and built upon by these synth electronic sounds, hence augmenting the strings. And you can just use one or the other if you'd like, but you can also combine them. And each layer has two engines. You can see there are two active on layer B and only one on layer A. So you can activate as much of them as possible and have four different sound sources which gives a lot of scope for creative sound design. Now, if we just have a look at the basic interface, you can pick a preset and just work within this and you will get beautiful sounds out of it anyway. One quick note before we start, it also, if you open these settings, has a tutorials menu here, which is really nice. So if you do ever get lost, you can always just refer to this. But for, day, for, for today, you have me to walk you through it. So, we can start by looking at this big morph dial in the middle. So you saw the two layers, obviously, and now that the morph is all the way to the left, that means it's going to be layer A. So we can have a listen to layer A on its own. Nice string sound. And if we move it all the way over, you'll hear the synthesized elements. There you go. And then, of course, if you put it somewhere in the middle, you can combine them and you can put it one way or the other. But the morph is not just a volume balance between the two. The morph also affects many other small nuanced aspects of the sound and it changes the way the effects work on the sound. So, for example, you also have effects A and B here. And effects A only affects layer A, and effects B is only for layer B, and so on and so forth. So if we look at effects A, and we, we bias the morph more towards this side so we can hear it better. That's the default, and if we crank up these effects, you can hear... You get... That, uh, that modulation, that pulsing. If we put it the other way, so that's the basic sound. All right, so you get a really cool effect that way as well. And then if you look at the others, so reverb and delay are pretty self-explanatory, but then you have color, time, and motion. So color is, I think of it sort of like tone, it sort of affects which uh, frequency range, I suppose, becomes the most pronounced. So if you were to put the color all the way up, you can hear that that's very damp now. Uh, so we'll, we'll dial it back. And time is like attack and release rolled into one and it affects how it swells in and also how long it lasts. So if we increase the time, you can hear the difference there as well. And motion is modulation effects. And so this will depend on what effects are loaded into the instrument and the preset that you have at that time. If we crank it up, it sounds pretty crazy. Um, and you can have a look at all of these effects 
in more detail here. So you can see what the modulation is, you can see these LFOs, you can modify uh, all the specific details of the LFOs, you can look at what layer A's effects are and layer B's effects as well, all within this. So you can see that that was a pan and that was a flanger. And so already just by using these which are very simple to use you don't have to do the deep dive into the advanced menu but it's there if you want it you can customize and create some pretty awesome sounds and there's loads of presets to work within here so you can see here and then they're sorted out um, arranged by type and if you click this button here you can see types styles banks and you can see there's also uh, all these designers that have contributed some presets and styles. So if you look at types, you can see it has the bass, keys, pads, etc. Styles, you have descriptive words, you have genres. Uh, and so you can find whatever you are looking for. There's a range of both orchestral sounds and uh, like more soundscapey, textural um, and dramatic things, and more completely synthesized sounds as well. So we can have a look at a couple of presets. Uh, one thing I want to look at is, you know, how good this is just as a string orchestra. So if we look for strings, and then we have uh, some string ensembles here. Let's just organized by ensemble as well and we can see I did have a look at one before ah yes the basic ensemble sustained tremolo so this to me sounded the most like a normal sort of orchestra and this is what I would maybe turn to from the very quick look I had so far to create uh, an orchestral rhythm section but you can have a listen for yourself And then again, of course, you can play with all the parameters of it. Um, but yeah, it, it has a sustain and that has topped off with the tremolo at the end, which makes it very useful for creating characterful um, string parts. Because sometimes with some libraries, the sustain strings can end up sounding a bit pad-like and not really have that characteristic quality of acoustic strings. And it can sort of get lost into the mix. So that little bit of tremolo and the quality of the sample really helps this stand out. Uh, we can have a look at another uh, preset as well, and then we'll explore a few in making uh, a musical piece. So, uh, let's see. I'm just kind of looking at some of the names here. Dark Razors, Soundtrack, so more sound design-y. That might be quite fun. I can hear some potential in this for sure. So I might just go a bit crazy here, crank up the motion. I might bring it more towards this side. Let me see what those layers are. Yeah, so this is the orchestra and this is the, the distant synth. So we want to bring forward that string sound a little bit. Uh, time sounds about good. We'll dial up the color and just bring in some of these effects. Okay. Sounds massive, and that's quite inspiring. So I think I'm going to use these dark razors to form the basis of the track that I'll use to demonstrate a little bit more of Arturia in its full glory. Hopefully, I mean, we'll see what I can do, right? So, um, see you soon. Okay, so we're back, and as you can see, we have a bit more of a complete piece of music here. Uh, I was inspired to start off with the dark razors uh, as a sort of sort of soundscapey textural backdrop for what I was doing, 
and it's not the most structured piece of music, but that was because I was just so inspired by the Dark Razor's sounds. I was just playing it into the keyboard, recording it, seeing what happened, and this is pretty much exactly what I spat out, bar a little bit of timing correction. Guitarists, right? We have no rhythm. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much what it is. So it's not the most structured chord sequence, but I built everything else around it, added some other sounds. So we have a few layers of augmented strings here, the tremolo ensemble. We have this uh, patch here doing a staccato sort of thing. It was the Epic Rhythms by which designer was it? Let's find it. Quentin Fouillard. I really hope I didn't butcher your name, Quentin. There you go. So, and we've also got the Blue Universe patch. The bass was made with augmented strings as well. The only thing that isn't is a couple of little impact hits, cinematic impacts. But yeah, I'll just play it through. Let me know what you guys think. Well, there you go. That was Augmented Strings by Arturia, a really exciting or powerful orchestra and synth all rolled into one fabulous instrument. So definitely check out the deal we have going right now and let us know how you go with Augmented Strings. That's all from me for now. I've been Rain with Audio Plugin Deals. See you in the next one.